brochures. Uh, brochures are a very essential tool. They used to be even more essential. Um, life has changed a little because we now live in an electronic world. Uh, but the basic brochure, and I'm not talking about the great big multi-page number, but the basic even single double sheet one, is a very essential tool. And on that, uh, you should have who you are, what you are, what your unique selling proposition is, the product, its feature benefits, why it's better, why it fulfills a need, uh, and, uh, and, and a lead to your phone number, your email address, and your website. Now, the website can provide an infinite amount of detail. Uh, in the old days, here yeah, I, I can remember having, and I uh, still have some, but uh, uh, stacks, uh, racks of, of folders with data on companies, data on, on products and raw materials, and Lord knows what, masses of this stuff that people used to distribute, and of course they had to try and keep it up to date, it was a massive job. Nowadays, all that comes from a website, and you don't need to, uh, to uh, try and update all that because you can just update a page on the site and link. So the brochure now is a piece of paper that's something solid that people can take with them, can get an idea of what your, uh, your act is, and uh, uh, it's a very simple, uh, solid thing that uh, I can go and grab hold of out of a file or whatever and say, right, uh, here's, here's, uh, here's where they are because here's their web address. I can go and look it up. Uh, it's something you can physically, uh, a physical record, just as the little thing that goes with it is your business card. And um, again, an essential way of finding your means of contacting your phone number, email address and website. So going down the issue on brochures, the main thing in brochures is to try and stay away from whole buckets of text because people simply don't read it. So you've got to spend a reasonable amount of time trying to get graphics and photographs that illustrate what your proposition is about. And if you get the right shots, they're liquid gold. That really show uh, someone uh, the right sort of photograph or image can show someone in a millisecond quite often uh, the, the features of what you've got to offer, uh, which would be a big job to try and write that down, writing it down a bit more read anyway. Uh, so people look at the thing and say, right, yeah, I've got it, I understand what you're about. Now, the other thing on a brochure that's very important is, is the issue of a logo, and I'm talking about startups here. Um, you need to have a, a well thought out logo that you're not going to sort of change, and a brand name. And uh, so many people, when they get started, don't realise the importance of brand names. That as you promote your product, and if it is any good, it does start to get there. The thing that counts so much in the end is the brand name. And you, you build that brand name, it's worth a lot of money to you. Uh, now, if you've got a name that is one that's not registrable, not an acceptable registered name, uh, and I'm, I'm thinking more in terms of America as opposed to some other countries which, which really uh, tend to toss out a lot of names that they won't have a bar on. Um, if you've got that situation, then you need to wake up that pretty early in peace. Goodness sake, don't have a brand name you've got to change because then every bit of literature, every whatever, all the money you've spent in promotion can just go down the drain. So it needs to be a name that people can, uh, is memorable, not overly complicated, uh, that is registrable. Um, because if it's not, then any Tom, Dick or Harry can get in on the act. And uh, at the beginning, often people don't think of that. Now, we've been down the route of having clients who have uh, uh, a brand name registrable in this country, uh, but 
when you go to, for example, the US and they say, no, we don't want to know about that, thanks, mate. Um, uh, we can interpret this as being higher density of vultures on the ground in the US. Uh, people probably get up to uh, tricks uh, a lot quicker than they do here. But that's the reality of life. Um, you need to think carefully about where your marketplace is uh, and normally the marketplace you think of are uh, the US and Europe. Uh, but uh, sometimes because of your product or service there may be other countries that enter into that um, for, for various uh, reasons. But think about those places and the issue and take advice on whether uh, the names you have uh, in mind are suitably registrable, because if they're not, um, you're going to put a lot of energy in here and you have to redo the whole thing again. Um, the the uh, other issues with brochures is the brochures I mentioned before used to be quite complicated. Now you can get them down to one or two pages and uh, a uh, fold out or double page print on both sides. Uh, you don't usually need to have miles of stuff um, because uh, if it's detailed stuff it can go on a CD or it can be straight off a website and people can just print it off as they need it. And uh, um, that makes life uh, somewhat different. Uh, but keep in mind that issue of of the piece of paper is something that people can take with them. It's something hard. Yeah, I saw that thing. Where did I put it? Now I've got something. I, whereas if there was no nothing of substance there, then you've got a problem. And again, for a new startup, remember the business card uh, goes with that another essential bit of paper. Not that uh, we, we don't live in a paperless world, but it's certainly getting that.